can you calculate the activation energy of a reaction if you're given two rate constants at two different temperatures? Yes, you can, using this equation. I'm going to label my first data points here as T1, K1, and T2, K2. Although, I will have to convert my temperatures into Kelvin. I do that by adding 273.15 to them. So 35 degrees Celsius becomes 308.15 Kelvin. And 45 degrees Celsius becomes 318.15 Kelvin. Now I can plug these temperatures and these Ks into this equation and solve for my activation energy. Let's watch that happen. The ln of K2, which I've labeled as 5.0 times 10 to the negative 4, over K1, which is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4, is the negative activation energy over R. Now R is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. The Kelvin is going to cancel out with this term, and my activation energy is going to be left in units of joules per mole. 1 over T2, which is 1 over 318.15, minus 1 over 308.15. At this point, there's a lot of math to do. So, with both the calculator, 5.0 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 1.4 times 10 to the negative 4 is 3.57. Now I'm also going to take the natural log of that, and I end up with 1.27 two, nine, oh, I shouldn't have carried that many decimal places, but I did, equals negative EA over 8.314 times 1 over 318.15 minus 1 over 308.15. That gives me negative 1.02 times 10 to the negative 4. Now to solve for EA, I'm going to multiply both sides by 8.314. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1.02 times 10 to the negative 4. Note, too, that that negative will cancel with that negative. And I've already isolated for my activation energy. So let's do that. Um, let's just do it all at once so you can watch me do it. 8.314 times 1.27297 divided by 1.02 times 10 to the negative 4. This gives me an EA of 103.760 joules per mole, which if I'm going to convert it into kilojoules per mole, divide by 1,000 gives me 103.8 kilojoules per mole. Now that doesn't include significant figures, but you can do significant figures yourself without me. So uh, you know what, I'll do it for you anyways. That's 1.0 times 10 to the 2 kilojoules per mole. I had to round this to two significant figures and put it in scientific notation because these have two significant figures and I can't write 100, which is what this would have to become with two sig figs. It either has to be one or three, depending on whether or not you put the decimal point in. So I got to do it in scientific notation, and it gives me this. Anyways, there you go. You could solve for the activation energy if you're given two rate constants at two temperatures by plugging them into this equation. You can also do it with a graph, which I will do for you in three, two, one.